going to start the Piscean message um, that I have been channeled from spirit. So there is a group of you who you're trying to act like something going on in your life is not destroying you, devastating you. Um, you are trying to act, I don't want to say like cool or, cause that's not what I'm trying to think or trying to say, but <clears throat> you are putting up a good act because you have something in your life going on right now, Pisces. You could be dealing with a Taurus or this is something to do with your marriage. It could be your marriage is ending. You're finding out devastating news about your spouse. And this doesn't have to be like they're, you know, cheating or they, I caught them with a babysitter or whatever. Um, for a group of you, I'm seeing this has to do with a spouse that may be becoming sick. Um, for another group of you, I feel like this could be, um, something that either like an adult child of yours have done, has done that's born under the sign of Taurus, something it's not with love. It has to do, I mean, obviously you love those people, but it's not like, like the energy has been for the last three weeks. Um, this is a, a situation um, that's really going to test your faith in your life's journey in a lot of different ways that you've never had to deal with before. It, it is... Spirit saying it's okay to feel the way you are. Um, and Spirit is encouraging you for those of you who have a child um, that is a Taurus, that is facing legal issues in regards to an accident, they are going to come out victorious in that. Um, it was a true accident and the court of law is going to see that. So you can um, try to put some of that anxiety aside. You can try to um, not be so tense and temperamental about it. Because anybody just brings it up and you are bitey. Like, and that's just because of the stress, the um, the intense weight you feel on your shoulders because you want to do nothing but protect that child. Even if they are an adult, you still have that, that mother's and father's instinct to protect and try to keep them from facing anything that is not is not beneficial in their life, but there is going to be someone that's going to come forward. They either knew something about this accident or witnessed it or whatever. They are going to come forward with proof that is going to benefit your child. And this in turn is going to, um, have the, the scales, um, go in his favor. So that message was important to get out first, just because I can feel um, the anxiety and the scaredness in you, and I wanted to try to put that a little bit to rest. For a different group of you, you are also pretending not to care, but this has to do with a relationship. You want to feel important again. You want to feel no longer rejected,
You want to feel like you matter. But what you want everybody to think is you don't care. You don't feel anything. You, you'll be good either way. When really you are hoping and praying and hoping to manifest something different. But your fears are in the way. You are, your negative thoughts, your lack of faith is going to um, end up manifesting the opposite of what you desire if you, um, if you don't turn those thoughts around, those actions. Live, as, live it as if it is, and it'll soon come. Um, but on a positive note of that, you are taking in, um, you're taking in a lot of self-evaluation. You are taking a step back after dealing with this, or like right now while you're dealing with it. You are going to take a step back and um, you're going to see what it is that you can take out of this event in your life and use it to either A, make yourself better, B, teach yourself something so you're not in this situation again, or three, you're going to realize what it is that is your motives. Like, you're going to look at within, you're going to reevaluate yourself. You're going to figure out what you want, what it is it's going to take to get it, what your motives are in this life, in this choice, in this decision. Um, but overall, just in your whole life, you're going to make goals. You're going to set those goals. You're going to meet those goals. And you're really going to step into your own power with this situation. So something that you thought was devastating and going to tear you down is actually forcing you to look inside yourself and it's building you up. It's, um, it's preparing you for something that's coming in for you. Um, you have good news coming. And in this good news, for a group of you, you are relocating due to getting a job. Um, for some of you, it's moving, you know, a couple states away. For another group of you, it's moving a couple countries away. Um, but this is what you have been hoping for. This is the job of your dreams. And it's really going to put a new breath of fresh air into your tired, tired, tired self. So um, it's really just going to rejuvenate you and, and it's going to be really exciting. So congratulations to those. Um, for the same group of you who has done the self-evaluation, it's also going to cause you to evaluate everyone else's motives. Why are they here for me? What do they want from me? Do they want anything from me but my friendship? Do they want anything more from me than a one night stand? Do they want anything more from me than to borrow money? Like you are going to start picking people out of your life, evaluating their motives. And if they're not there for an equal exchange of friendship, a balance within the relationship, whatever kind of relationship it be, friends, family, lovers, you're going to start cutting them out. The next month for you, Pisces, is an exciting one for so many reasons. First and foremost, you're going to stand in your power. You're going to begin to speak the truth because you're finally facing yourself in the mirror and figuring out what that truth is. 
once you figure out your truth, you're going to speak your truth and live your truth. So this month is the groundwork for a new you. For two, you are no longer going to put up with people who use you, lie to you, steal from you, cheat on you, whatever. You're getting those negative people out. For three, there are new, fresh beginnings in your work. Um, lots, lots of relocating as far as jobs. You are going to become more spiritual awakened. You are going to start centering your attention on family, children, um, elderly parents. You're just going to have a whole renewal. And it is going to be mind-blowing for not only you, but for those of you that are for those people around you that are close to you, that have watched you struggle, who have watched you have heartache and um, and be depressed and sad and anxious, and they are going to see you in a whole new light, and they are going to join in with you in your celebration, in your celebration of being you because if you don't celebrate being how great you are no one else is gonna but when you start living your life like you are the great person that you are people take notice they realize that you're not gonna stand for being treated like shit and walked all over you're not going to put up with people who take and don't give. You're not going to put up with anybody that vibrates at a lower Yeah, you are not going to deal with anybody that is a lower vibration than you. You're opening your eyes. You're seeing a lot of things for what they are and you are most importantly realizing your worth. You're clearing out what no longer serves you. Yeah, you're celebrating. Celebrations are happening. I see for some of you, you're getting married. I see for some of you, you're having children. And it's just, it's going to be a really good month for you guys. You're going to be happy and your happiness is not going to depend on someone else. You're going to be happy and you're going to continue to be happy because it's you making you happy. Nobody can fix you and you know that, but you felt so broken you couldn't fix yourself and then you had an epiphany. You had an eye-opening Hmm. And you thought, I can do this. I, I think I can do this. And when you start living and breathing and thinking and walking, talking, acting like the great person that you are, you're going to attract the relationships that are meant for you to have. I see soulmate energy coming in. I see I see people having resolutions with soulmates. I see I see an over amount of love. And for the first time for Pisces in a long time because you have you have been feeling rejected and 
you couldn't figure out what it was about you that people didn't want, that wanted reject, that was being rejected. Because nobody took the time to figure out, Pisces, how great a person you are. Because even you weren't taking the time to figure that out. You just assumed you were what everybody else said you were. You assumed you deserved how everyone else treated you. And no longer... Are you doing that? When you raise your vibration, I see divine love coming in. I see your life heading in a whole new direction. Whether you're single, in a marriage, in a commitment, um, it don't matter. I see a new direction in your life. And those people around you, if they're coming, if they follow you, great. If you leave them behind, they were meant to be in the dust. You are going to have a new beginning, and Spirit is telling you to take the leap of faith. No question. Don't even think about it, because you start thinking about it, you're going to start second-guessing it, and then you're going to start evaluating it, and then you're going to start making lists and pros and cons, and don't. Spirit is saying just take the leap. Unexpected things are coming for you. I see things that you never would have dreamt possible are coming to you as if by magic. And you're manifesting those things, not even realizing it, because you're living a brand new you. It's easy to manifest things when you believe in them. You believe you're great. You believe you deserve the best. Look what happens. You are going to have to make a choice about something. It's going to be a hard decision. It could be about leaving somebody behind. Um, friend, family, love, whatever. Um, and you really need to take the time to decide what is best for you because this is not a decision to make in a quick hasty way because it affects more people than just one the one making the decision you are going to have clarity and truth about a karmic relationship and you are going to come out with the victory. You're going to have the win. I see that um, a group of you are going to be rejected by an earth sign, but it's going to be okay, Spirit says, because a stable and grounded person Uh, a stable and grounded person is no that's the earth sign okay for that group of you you are going to be rejected by an earth sign who's stable and grounded and appears to have it all together the spirits reminding you that not everything is what it appears and that rejection is spirit's protection. So if you are rejected in anything in life, a job, a relationship, um, what, what have you, that rejection is spirit's way of saying it's not meant for you. Something better is coming along. Something, um, something that is meant for something that is meant for your greater good. So whenever you feel rejected, whenever you're turned down, just 
take it as spirit's got something better coming along. The universe is going to give me something way better than that. So he just did me a favor. Spirit did me a favor and uh, saved the best for you. Um, you do have um, an ex coming back into your life in the next four weeks, four to six weeks. Um, I do see you saying no. And... They, it's, that's a good thing because they are going to come in, um, like as a facade, like, like putting on an act because they are going to try to get something out of you. They are trying to manipulate a situation in order for you to help them with something or for them to benefit out of it. So, I do see you having communication, having communication coming in, in regards to your new job. I see communication coming in, in regards to a new love. It's going to come in fast, and it's going to be passionate, and it's going to kind of knock you off your feet and turn your world upside down so fast that you're not even going to realize it. Um, Spirit saying, go with it. If that's your new beginning, take the leap of faith. Something, though, is really bothering you in regards to that choice you have to make. I see it is in regards to giving somebody a second chance. I am getting from spirit that a lot of these second chances are your divine unions. So really reconsider, really look within, pray, meditate, and give it the amount of attention and thought that it deserves. Because there's a lot of unions coming. I'm, I have been preaching it for how long? 2018 is the year of the twin flame. I truly honestly believe that. 2017 was when the main collective met their twin flames. I believe 2018 is when the... Um, mass of unions is coming and there will be some you know 2019 and on but that is what my guides and my angels are telling me um but there are divine unions coming for some of you what spirit is encouraging you to know about this is in order for a divine union to happen you have to first foremost and above all rest love yourself first. So if you can't look yourself in the mirror and you can't say with truth and honesty and clarity that I choose me first over everybody on this planet, that includes your parents, your children, your siblings, your spouse, your coworkers, friends, everybody. And a lot of people have um, difficulty doing that, saying that, and feel not feeling guilty, like they should say their kids will always come first. Their parents would always, well, no, because you have to love yourself first. If you don't love yourself, nobody around you is going to love you the way you deserve, because if you don't love yourself, why would anybody else, you know, for one. For two, if you love yourself, you are going to be the greatest you you can be. And who's going to benefit? Your children, your parents, your siblings, your friends, everybody in your life. So by putting you first, 
of course you're um, benefiting you, but you are then in turn bringing the best you possible to everybody else in your life and they are going to benefit off that. So make sure you love yourself. Um, do self affirmations. Tell yourself how great you are. It's okay. I won't judge. <laughs> but for real, if you feel you're in this twin flame journey, if you feel you have a soulmate coming in, they are not going to come to you unless you have picked you. Well, I take that back. They may come to you, but it's going to get ugly. It's There's going to be hurt. There's going to be pain. So start healing now. Start working on yourself. And Pisces, I see you doing this. I see you going for it. The in Spirit is saying that for a large group of you, you just woke up one day and was like, I'm tired of this shit. Something's got to change. If I don't like it, if it's not working for me, I guess I'm going to be the one to change it. And Spirit is saying, hallelujah. You're going to have wishes coming true. Especially with if you're with a water sign, interested in water sign. Um, Pisces, you, you are going to have romantic relationships in 2018 like you've never experienced before. Especially if you're with another water sign. You have always been in relationships where you felt like you gave and gave and gave and do not get the fair amount given back to you. You always felt like it was out of balance and that's no longer going to be the case. You are going to, you are going to feel so different um, about relationships in general altogether. Like your whole belief system, your whole thought process surrounding relationships is out the window. No, no more. You have a whole new outlook um, as far as needing a relationship, wanting a relationship, having to have that relationship, having to have somebody to share your life with. You are slowly starting to um, rebuild your beliefs and... Um, uh, out of a, more of a traditional sense into more of what fits you, what you want, what you expect. That's what your new belief systems are, not what's the traditions that's been handed down for generations. You are going to first rebuild yourself in a beautiful way. And then you're going to rebuild the way you think about how people come into your life, how people stay in your life, what people have to offer for you. Like you are raising the bar. You are raising your standards because you are finally seeing your worth. You are finally getting it. You, you are so hard on yourself so much. So, It's about time that you see your worth, is what Spirit keeps saying. Transformations are happening. Big, big changes are coming. All for the positive. You're finally, you're finally doing it. You're not just talking about it, you're doing it. And for a group of you, I see in the next four to six weeks, you meeting a romantic partner. I see for a large group of you this year, you are finally getting that family that you've been wanting. You are getting, I mean, you're getting the Ten of Pentacles. You're getting that home you wanted, that family you wanted, that stability you wanted, that dream job. I just landed it like you are doing it. 
You've worked hard for this. A group of you are going to take a step back, say it's too good to be true. I don't deserve that. There's got to be a catch. No, there is no catch. You deserve this. You worked hard for this. This is all you. This is all what you're going to be manifesting. This is all coming to you because you've been putting nothing but good karma out there and helping people and sacrificing your wants, your needs to make the next person's day just a little bit easier to help them out a little more. And it's finally coming back to you. If you're not manifesting it by the way you're living, you are receiving it from the universe in the form of a gift for what you've given. So don't backpedal. Don't talk yourself out of this because you guys are good at that. You do deserve this. Don't give up, Spirit is saying. You guys are at the tail end of a difficult cycle. It's hard right now. It's rough. It's sad. It's hurtful. It's disappointing. It's It feels like your heart's being ripped out. Your soul's been stomped on. Your head is spinning. And Spirit is saying you are almost there. Hard cycles are coming to an end. Don't give up. Don't give up. For a group of you, you're having trouble um, letting go of something or someone you believe you deserve. You believe or thought it was yours in the first place. You are having a hard time letting this go. And but you're going to do it. And here's why. For those of you that this is a person, you have up to this point been fighting for this relationship. You have been fighting to the point where, shit, I've been fighting for so long. What are we fighting for again? Like, you're not fighting. You know, why am I fighting for you when you're not fighting for me? Like, you're going to get confused. Like, you are going to feel like, wait a minute. Why am I risking all of this? Why am I coming out of battle, you know, wounded? And he's not even out there fighting for me. He's hunkered down back there, letting me take the fall, letting me take on the battle. You're going to realize this. You're going to be awakened to this. And you are going to then realize and stand in your own power and make this person aware because they feel they can do anything and you'll welcome them back in because up to this point, you have taken them back. You... For a group of you, it was a part of you loved them. For another group of you, a part of you felt sorry for them. So you did always kind of like let them back in. And then, you know, it got better. And it was good for a little bit. And then it, you know, fell to pieces again. They took off. You welcome. So they feel like they can get away with anything. You're going to open the door again. Not this time, Pisces. You guys will stand in your power and you will make these people realize I am no longer allowing you to make me an option. If you don't want to fight for me, if I'm not a priority in your oh so busy life, 
then I'll make my own self the priority and you're no longer a priority or an option in my life. Scoot along and you are going to feel so empowered. You are going to feel like, damn, that felt good, you know? And they're going to be in shock because they've been doing this for more than a couple years. Years. Maybe not always so extreme of taking off, coming back, you know, but you're a pushover or so they thought. So they are going to just be in shock. Like what just happened? You're rejecting me. You're always the one begging me to come back. Not this time. Your vibration's up here. You don't need this low vibration shit. So if you can't make me a priority, I'll find somebody that will. And you will. You will manifest these people into your life. You are going to be like a magnet in the next four to eight weeks. In another four weeks after that, you are going to have not only people magnetized to you, you are going to have situations from the universe pouring in. You're manifesting this. Because you have learned your worth. And once you know your worth, your vibration is going to rise. Because you are going to start living and acting like what you, what you embody. Like, you're just going to, you're just going to have a awakening to so many things. You are going to, after telling these people, see ya, you are going to take a couple days and you are going to, you're going to feel sad because they have been a part of your life for so long, but you can have this time to mourn the loss of them. Just don't unpack your bags and stay there because they're not worth you bringing yourself down, wasting your energy on them when they're, they've already moved on and are sucking their energy off somebody else. So go ahead and take the time you need to, to mourn the loss of this, to let this go, to release this. And then start walking that walk again. For a lot of you, your finances are going to be looking stellar. For a group of you, the universe is bringing you financial abundance. For a group of you, I see new adventures. I see trying new things. I see... I see you decluttering your life, whether it be with people, things, junk, you know, whatever it is that is cluttering you, that is taking up your space and no longer needing to be there. I see you getting rid of it. <clears throat> I see a lot of you taking a break from just the regular mundane life and looking for a new, a new road to go down a new path to travel because the same path that you've been walking for years is so it lacks the excitement you know what's around every corner you know what's around every bend you know who's going to be there at this time of the day you want a new path you want excitement adventure 2018 is the time to do this. <clears throat> Some of you are hanging on tight to an old lifestyle. And Spirit says, that's okay. It's your choice. But if you want the new adventure, you want the to try new things, you want 
just to experience life to its fullest, to see what's out there in this world. We weren't meant to stay in one city the, our whole life. We were meant to see the world, share our energy with anybody we come into contact with, any positive interaction that you can have with somebody, do it. I see Pisceans as a whole healing and healing so wonderful. You are going to be, I know uh, with a lot of like the twin flame journey, you know, um, not everybody here on earth is in a twin flame journey, but that doesn't mean that you can't break down to nothing and build yourself back up again to the most amazing you that you can be. And that it's your time, Pisces. It's your time. Heal yourself. Heal yourself from your past hurts, your karmic ties. I mean, everybody needs to heal. Connect to your soul. Feel, feel your work. Feel out what you're supposed to be doing here. What's your purpose? I see a lot of you, Pisceans, in the next mm, two, two and a half months are going to have huge spiritual awakenings. And this is going to come after you work to heal yourself, after you connect to your soul, and after you feel your work. What is my soul's work here? What is my purpose? I want to feel what it feels like to do what I'm sent here to do. The emotional abundance, the emotional fulfillment of helping another human being in a soulful way, in a spiritual way, I can honestly, truthfully say is one of the best feelings I have ever felt in my whole life. When I get personal readings and I get a positive feedback telling me how much they loved it, how much it resonated, how much I changed their life, I'm going to cry because it just, it gets me. You, every single one of you, I may change your life in one way or another, but don't you think for a minute that you don't change mine. Every positive interaction of energy just makes me realize why I'm in this, why I feel my work. I feel it right here. And, and I try to pass out at, I try to pass that out to every person that I come in contact with. Is it always sunshine and roses? No. Is it exhausting sometimes? Yes. Um, just, you know, if there's, there's downsides to everything. But what we have to do here is to find the upside and find the one that is most fulfilling in every aspect of life. That's your soul's purpose. And Pisces, you're doing that this month. You are searching for that. And in two, two and a half months, so many of you are going to become spiritually awakened. You are going to, your intuition is going to be on point you're going to be able to, you know, see your spiritual realm. Your third eyes are going to, your third eye is going to open. You're going to be in balance. And as a collective, we're, it's just going to be a better place to be. And, and I am personally super excited about it because Pisces of anybody, you guys deserve this. You deserve so much. And I am so proud of you guys for standing in your own, for realizing how wonderful you guys are. And, you know, there is, there, it's not going to be a perfect, you know, two or three months. Don't get me wrong. There are a lot of you in a horribly hard cycle in your life. Actually, the majority of you are. And that's what's going to bring you to this spiritual enlightenment. I'm going to get my messages I got this morning. <clears throat> because for a group of you, um, a lot of you, it's weird saying almost all of you are ending a cycle. 
you are in a horribly tough cycle. A lot of you are planning how to leave. A lot of you are trying to figure out if this is what you want. If this person was meant for you. Spirit is encouraging you that if you are wanting to leave a relationship, don't do it in a sneaky way. Just be honest with your partner. Open up. Let yourself be heard. Let yourself speak the truth and give them enough respect to have closure to the relationship. Don't just take off. And this is, you know, people doing this to you, Pisces. Pisces, you doing this to other people. People need closure. We can't just take off. We can't just be sneaky. Give them the enough respect, which either way it goes, to sit them down and um, and to offer them the truth of what happened in this relationship so that they can move on without these karmic hurts that are tearing people down. For a group of you, you are panicky. You're full of anxiety over this relationship. You're scared. You don't know what to do. You don't know if you should stay and fight for this relationship or if you should go and start all over. And how scary is that? Starting over by yourself? You just don't know what to do. You feel like you're like back and forth in your head, like, like battling, like tug of war. And you, for that group of you, Spirit is, um, he is suggesting um, meditation. I always say praying is when we talk to her. Um, okay. Um, Praying is when we talk to our higher power, and meditating is when we listen to our higher power. A lot of us are good at talking, me included, but it seems to be so hard these days to sit and listen. But that's when you're going to find and hear that your most important messages will come to you, and that's everybody. You don't have to be a psychic or intuitive or that when you take the time to sit and listen and, and, and listen instead of just getting ready to say your next response, that's when you hear. That's when you truly hear. That's what Spirit is suggesting. Um, for, um, for a group of you, I see legal documents being drawn up. These are divorces. This is the end of those painful cycles I was talking about. Um, you are going to get through this okay. It is going to be balanced. It's it, it might be getting ugly or it is ugly right now, but at least the truth is coming out and you're getting the answers you deserve or you're giving the answers that your partner deserves. <coughs> I do see for... Um, a group of you, there's going to be some illnesses that um, plague your family. Just keep faith and um, keep the faith and keep them comfortable. And I see for a group of you, these are this is a young, younger child, children. Um, you are going to be a part of a, like, experimental, um, treatment because nothing else you have tried has worked and it is going to be successful. So that is amazing news. There's a lot of relationships ending right now. A lot. Um, once again, that's part of those painful cycles. For some of you, this could be harder than what you thought. It could get kind of ugly. It could get sticky. And it could hurt a lot more than what you thought it was going to. 
but have faith that the universe is bringing in something better. You are going to have a time of feeling disconnect. You are going to want to go within to isolate yourself. Um, you're not feeling passion for anything. You're not, you're not emotionally satisfied with your current partner, your spouse. Don't waste time or their time. Um, or you're going to feel stuck and you're going to go get in that hangman phase and you're going to hang there forever. Don't waste your time or because you deserve happiness. Everybody out there has that 10 of cups out there. If you're sticking with somebody who's the six of cups and the four of cups, don't waste time because there is a 10 of cups for everybody out there. So, if things need to come to an end, Spirit is encouraging you to let them come to an end. Don't fight it. Um, because why why waste a single day of your time here on, on earth? It's too short. It's too short to live in misery. We just need to... We just need to... Um, Remember, if it's not serving our greater good, it's not for us. And I see for a group of you, you are like hesitating leaving because you don't want to hurt your partner. Um, it's not the right time. It's never going to be the right time. There's always going to be hurt. There's always hurt in endings. But what gets us through that hurt is the promise of a new day. It is knowing that this is not going to last forever. And when I get over this hurt and pain and I heal myself, it's going to make me a better person. It's going to make me a better partner, a better spouse, a better lover, whatever it is. That relationship was meant for us as far as teaching us a lesson. It's either a blessing or a lesson. So take that lesson with you and when you move on to what is meant for you next you're just that much better growth does not come without any pain growth doesn't come without any work and growth doesn't happen without warmth and nurturing and the promise of the sun coming up tomorrow Tomorrow's a new day. Embrace every day like you're starting over fresh and the pain will, it'll go away. You will get over it. You will get past it. You will move on and you will move on to what maybe is better for you. But Spirit is just saying no matter what, Make sure that whatever you, your actions that you do are for the greater good of the universe. And don't forget to live in your truth. Speak your truth. Walk it. Live it. Um, Pisces, I am so happy for you guys. For the next 4, 8, 12 weeks, you are going to so totally own it. You are going to step into it and and take off. Um, you have a lot of new and exciting things. Unfortunately, you guys are still in this cycle, but they are ending. These cycles are coming to an end um, very soon, weeks, um, some people days. Um, so allow them cycles to close. Once you get out of this most difficult cycle that you have probably ever experienced, you are going to open the doors of opportunity. You are going to open the doors to a whole new world in a whole new you, embracing a whole new outlook for a new beginning. So let those cycles end, heal, and be 
the best you you can be when those doors are opening for you. And I promise you will not be sorry. You will not regret this. Um, I am so glad that you guys allow me to read for you. I hope you enjoyed these channeled messages. This is such a breath of fresh air compared to the messages that I have been getting for the last couple months. We all know the death card's been here. The, you know, the world in reverse, the, you know, and it gets, it gets to bringing you down. So when spirit brings a message like this, that we've had those burning fires around us for so long that to know we are now going to rise up and make this um, transition, make this change in our life. How exciting. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so happy for you. I hope you enjoyed these messages. Um, once again, they're not going to resonate with everybody. Um, if you have a comment, please leave it below. Um, thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, but most of all, have a beautiful and blessed day, week, month. Um, I'm sending you all the love and light from here at Indigo Goddess 1111. God bless you all.